Hey guys, we have a haul! So, some of my haul is PR, and some of it's what I've bought. So, if I have to make a part two, I'm sincerely sorry, I will upload it in the next five minutes. Anyway, the first one I'm going to be unboxing is one from Sephora. So, if you guys know, I did spend quite a lot of money in Sephora. Do I regret it? Do I regret it? Absolutely not. I'm so freaking excited! I'm so excited. Okay. So it came with this little letter. I can't be asked to open it. I'll open it later. Anyway. Fell off. Okay. So. The first thing. Well, this is not the first thing I bought. But this is one of the things I bought. Was the Dior Backstage Concealer. Oh, my God. I literally just had to. So I saw this on. I think it was Kate Fang's. I got a lot of inspiration off Kate Fang. But I got the Dior Backstage Concealer. Look at the top of it. <gasps> literally gorge. Then it's got this kind of applicator really cute so i got that and then next i got the sol Janeiro, um 68 spray because i heard this one was really good and i heard that the last one smelled kind of like i don't know so we're gonna try this one out oh, that smells so goddamn good guys oh my i recommend and you know i had to get the full size because i'm a freak like that anyway next we've got the I've got the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Belief because I've heard a lot of good stuff about that too. Um, and I've always wanted it. So I've got the Rare Beauty Blush. This is what it looks like. Selena Gomez. I freaking love you. To my heart. And then along with that, I've got the Rare Beauty um, Highlighter, which is also one of the cutest things in the whole wide world. I've been wanting this for so goddamn long. Selena, you are my freaking lifesaver. I love you. Then I got the Drunk Elephant... La La Retro Whip Whipped Cream because I've had a lot of good things with that and I also want to make one of the smoothies. So I got that. Then I've got the Drunk Elephant Hydration Serum because I wanted to mix that with my smoothie too. So I got that. So cute. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh yeah. I got the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray because I've had a lot of good stuff about oh, I can't get into it. Because I've heard a lot of good stuff about that too. Oh god, I almost dropped it. That's what it looks like. So cute. I'm trying to be fast. And then I got the uh, Ordinary Hyaluronic um, Acid. Because I've also heard a lot of good stuff about that. So I got that too. And then I got the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. Because I honestly... Oh shit. Love. And then I got the Gisu, I think that's how you pronounce it, Hair Perfume. Gorge, and I've ordered a bit more, so there will be a part two. I'm so, so sorry, guys. I want to cry. Let's do a Sephora sale haul and try out the products together. I just put on my foundation, but I just got the new concealer. It's the Saint Laurent Touche Cloth. However you pronounce that. So you pump it at the end, and then... I'm pretty sure this is a light coverage, but let's see... Since it's a light coverage, more natural look, I'm just going to go in with my fingers. It's super pretty. You can't even see it on your skin, but it's so light. It doesn't cover pimples, so it's really for like a really natural look. Like you can still see my pimples through. I like it, but if you have pimples like I do, you have to layer it to get the coverage. Okay, I didn't bake because I got the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Blurring Under Eye Powder. I just opened that and sparkles went everywhere, but... It definitely blurred it compared to this side, but it's nothing special. Like, it honestly looks better if I bake with the Makeup Forever Loose Powder. That kind of just... Yeah. I also bought out my birthday gift. I got this way set. should also get the Anastasia Brow Freeze because it'll change your life. I got this Hourglass Glitter Eyeshadow and Scattered Light. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> really, really pretty in store, so... I'm just going to go in kind of light because I'm not going anywhere. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm obsessed with that iridescent look. This is actually the shade Smoke. Scatter Light is the kind of eyeshadow. we got to speed things up because we're running out of time, but I got the YSL Lash Clash and the Dior Show Mascara. One's in brown and one's in black. I'm going to go in with black just to be safe right now. I now remember why I used to be obsessed with this mascara. I made a mess. 
this everywhere. Charlotte Tilbury and Pink Venus. I've never tried this before. I also got a Mario liner, but I can't find it. I really think I already lost it, which is so sad. And lastly, I have the Mario Moisture Glow Plumping in Soft Blush, which I already know I love. Oh my god. Okay, love. I also have a whole other video of Sephora favorites if you guys want to go look and shop because the sale is almost over. <laughs> Is makeup so expensive? You see the back? You see the back? Yeah. Full, oh, babe. It's full. It's full. I'm not even gonna say how much this costs. But just know, rent might not be paid this month. Let's get into the haul. First and foremost, this is my favorite perfume ever right now. Every time I wear it, people ask me what I'm wearing. And if someone else is wearing it, I can literally smell it and I'm like, are you wearing black opium? Because I can smell it. Yeah, this perfume is so good. I also got travel size of the black opium from my purse. You know what I'm out to reapply. Just because I'm just bougie like that. I'm going to afford it. I'm lying. Summer Fridays sheer skin tint. I saw this girl on my 40 pages in this. It looks so good. In shade 5. Hopefully, hopefully it matches. I got this Charlotte Tilbury Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. I hope it's good. I mean, shit. Otherwise, I wasted 40 fucking dollars. But yeah, this is in the shade 2 medium. I like a bright under eye. What can I say? Did I buy every shade of the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm? The fuck I did. <laughs> Look at this. Like, I know y'all seen the videos. I had to get all of them. I had to. I don't really use contour sticks, but I just got the Fenty match stick um, in the shade Truffle. I've heard great things about this. The one size secure the blur primer. It's really good for your pores. If you have big pores, it basically makes them disappear. This was a little holiday sale. I got two for one, basically. It's the um, Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. It's really, 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 really good. I'm doing these two together. I got the NARS blush in shade Dominant, and then I don't know how to pronounce Sai, 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 um, whatever blush in the shade Chili. These are basically the same color, and I think they're gonna look so good together. I got the Huda Beauty lip contour in shade Warm Brown, because I've been fucking with Huda Beauty since middle school days, and I just needed a warm brown lip pencil, and she was there. I got this cute little sexy pink pussy blush from Sephora in um, shade over the moon. Yeah. And I got the gly glycolic acid, the toning solution, um, because I have a lot of um, scars on my face that I need to get rid of. And that's everything. Peace. It's time for a Sephora haul. Okay, so I placed two orders, one in store and one online. So we'll start with in store. Okay, so the first thing I got is this Tower 28 lip gloss and it's in the shade Coconut. I kept seeing it all over TikTok and I just really wanted to try it. I was debating between uh, the shade Pistachio and Coconut, but they only had Coconut in store. And it's just a really nice pink shade. It's so pretty. And the consistency is really nice. Okay, the next thing I got is the Sol de Janeiro 68 body spray. This literally smells so good. And it's also a restock, so I highly recommend. And the last thing I got in store is the Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Highlighter. This is in the shade Mesmerize. I've actually never tried Rare Beauty's liquid blushes. I only have the powder version, so I'm really excited to try this. Now I'm going to show you guys what I got online. I think this is my favorite thing in the entire haul. Um, it's the Gizu hair set. It comes with a hair mask, a shampoo conditioner, and a leave-in conditioner. The value of this is actually insane. It's $94 Canadian regular, and this was $66 Canadian dollar. And just looking at it, like the products actually look like they're a normal size. Next, we have another Gizu product. This is their hair perfume, and I just need needed a restock because I have like none left. Hair perfume is so worth it. I literally had this one for like three years and it lasted me this long. And the last two things I got are blushes. This one is the Glossier Cloud Paint and it's in the color Beam. It's like a really nice peach color so I'm not used to it. I usually use pink blushes so this is going to be something different. We have the most iconic blush. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Hope. The Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes are honestly my favorite and I'm really excited to try this color because I always see it on TikTok. And that's it for my Sephora haul. Love you guys.
My Sephora package finally came. I think they gave me a little sample of a perfume. Ooh, that smells so good. Love unboxing stuff. I got the vanilla Laneige. Really been wanting it. I love this stuff so much. I do not remember ordering this. I did not. So confused. I guess I just got this in my package. That's a big one too. 62, the basic white girl banal. Also, I'll have all this linked in my Amazon storefront. I, I ran out of the hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide in the ordinary serum. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.